Hi viewers, welcome back. In this video, we will discuss PDM, Post Distribution Monitoring Study. The detail of how to do your sampling for post distribution monitoring is already been done in the previous video, which you can watch. The link is given in the description. This was the sampling that we did for our uh, beneficiaries, and we also did uh, the detailed calculations for confidence level, margin of error. So all these. A confidence level margin of error and then obtaining your sample with the confidence level and margin of error from the total target population so how to do that we have done already that in the previous video of sampling uh, you can watch that video the link is given in the description now in this one we will do post distribution monitoring pdm So PDM is usually done for uh, those beneficiaries where you have distributed some items or some food, etc. So the list is already with you because you have already distributed the item. So for example, this is the list of the, those beneficiaries. And uh, as explained in the previous video of sampling, uh, you have already selected the number of beneficiaries that you would need for that study. Now what you need to do? You need to develop a tool and then conduct your study. So what is PDM? What is this post distribution monitoring? How to do that? So basically post distribution monitoring is a mechanism to collect and understand feedback on the quality, sufficiency, utilization and effectiveness of the assistance that you have provided to the beneficiaries. So you are conducting a study after the distribution of that you know, item. Now what is the met methodology? Here you would need random sampling from the list of beneficiaries. For example, this is the list of beneficiaries. Uh, as explained in the previous video, you have obtained your sample. This is your sampling. 5,000 beneficiaries were the total target with 95% confidence level and 5% margin of error. Your sample is 357. So from the list of this beneficiary, you have selected 357 with the random sampling techniques formula that we applied in the previous video. And now you are just going to conduct the study. So what is the methodology random sampling has done? Now questionnaire. The next thing is questionnaire. So first for questionnaire you would need demographic information of that beneficiary. For example, date of interview, village, district, seal, respondent name, father name, CNIC number, gender, cell number. What is the relationship of the respondent to the beneficiary? For example, if he himself is giving the interview, so you will select self. If uh, that person is not available to the beneficiary and spouse is available, so you will select spouse, husband, brother, sister, daughter, etc. Then you can obtain some number of that household also uh, of the children that how many people are living in that household. This, this would help you that whether the assistance that you provided is enough for them or not. And uh, similarly, uh, then you will start with the questionnaire. So in the questionnaire, you can add questions like this. Uh, for example, did you receive the food pack from organization project name? Yes, no. Are you aware of the quantity of the pack items? Uh, uh, this question is important so that whether they know about the quantity of the items or not uh, to avoid any fraud. Uh, if yes, ask below. So you will have to list down all the items here and ask him or her whether they have obtained these items or not. Because, and this is the list of the items that were the target in the proposal for distribution. So you will have to take mark all these items so that you have authentic information about the distribution of the items. Then, if no, if they say no, we have not received items according to these quantities. So if no, then ask why. What was the reason and what were the items? So you can select and list down all those items which... Uh, were provided to them and then you can ask the project staff that this was the list of the items and a specific beneficiary has said that he or she has not obtained these items so why then uh, you can ask them some other question like this uh, did you receive the information about the date time and location in advance this is important because this is the SOP for the distribution that you should inform the beneficiaries uh, about the date, time, and location in advance for the distribution. So uh, they would say agree, disagree, don't remember, or no response. Or you can add some other area, yes, no, or you can say 
um, yes, they were aware. No, they were not aware. Yes, they were aware, but only about the date, not about the time and location, etc. You can add here a different type of responses. The date and time of the food pack distribution were suitable for you. You can ask the beneficiary about this also, that whether the date and time of the distribution was suitable for you, whether that time and that date was uh, fine for you, so, so that you may have the information. Did you reach distribution point easily? You can ask this question also. It's also very important so that you may know that whether the, the distribution points were easily accessible to the beneficiaries or not. If no, if they say no, it was not easy. So explain why. They would say the distance, we, 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 we were living at a distance of this much kilometer and that was very difficult for us. So you can share these information with project staff to uh, ensure in future that they should select uh, easily accessible distribution points for the beneficiaries. You can also ask them, how long did you have to wait at the distribution site to get the food bag? You can ask them this question also. It's also very good because uh, you can obtain information about the time they had uh, waited there uh, at the distribution point. So here you can obtain number of hours or number of minutes, etc. So we have selected right minutes and hours like 30 minutes, 40 minutes, 50 minutes, 1 hour, 2 hour, 3 hours. So you can then, um, you know, identify different trends that how much time for the distribution different beneficiaries had to wait. Then you can ask them, are you satisfied with the distribution process? Was the distribution process good? Are you satisfied with that? Yes, no, or you can uh, add here uh, very much satisfied, uh, less satisfied, uh, dissatisfied, etc. Are you satisfied with the quality of the food pack item? You can ask this question also about the quality, whether the items were of quality or not. You can ask, was it convenient for you to receive the food items or is it convenient for you to receive cash and purchase food for that cash? You can ask this question because sometimes beneficiaries complain that you should give us cash, not food items. Because with the cash, we can obtain different type of items which are very relevant uh, to our needs. So you can ask this question that whether they select food item, cash, don't know or no response. So you can use this information in future also. If no response, then ask to explain the relevant problem. If they say uh, don't know or no response, so you can ask them uh, to explain what is the real problem to them. They might say that yes, we should be given some food item, but there should be cash also, etc. etc. Uh, did complain number and focal person details share with you? And at any distribution point, we should have a complaint number displayed to the beneficiaries. So you can ask them that whether there was a complaint number and focal person detail shared with you or not. You can ask them were the deserving people selected for the food items and kits. You can ask this question also, but you will have to go in detail with the beneficiary so that there might not be any biasness. But you will be collecting this data only from those who have received the items. So there might be less chances of biasness because he or she has already received the item. So they will say whether the deserving people were selected or not. Or they might share with you that one of my uncle or one of my cousin is very poor but they didn't select them. So you can ask them if no, explain why. So they can say that they were selecting people in that area only. They didn't come to this place, etc., etc. Did you face any difficulty in receiving the package due to COVID-19? So if there is COVID-19, so you can add this type of question or you can add that did you face any difficulty in receiving the package due to this, this problem? If yes, please explain. Up to this point, these were related to the food item distribution. And you can add some other question also. You can see this questionnaire. I have gone to each question. So you can copy and paste this question and if you need this question so I can share that with you also. Uh, leave a comment and I will share it with you. Then if you had conducted some other interventions beside that distribution also so you can add questions related to that also because you are going to the beneficiaries and obtaining information so you can add some other questions. For example, if you had con conducted awareness raising sessions etc. so you can add questions uh, related to that. To those areas also. So this is the questionnaire basically. Simple questionnaire for you. 
Now, when you have completed this questionnaire, so you can print, uh, take printouts and then uh, make a plan, plan, plan like this. This is the sample beneficiary, so you can add the staff who will be collecting the data. Staff are the enumerator, then the date of the data collection and etc. You can add them and then uh, give the list to relevant staff members and they can collect the data. And after the data collection, you can do the analysis and for how to conduct the analysis, I have done a detailed video on that and the link is given in the description so you can watch that also. So for PDM, you just need sampling, then you just need a tool and then data collection and then analysis of that uh, distribution data. If you like the video, so kindly click the like button, share it and subscribe the channel. Thank you so much for watching. Dear viewers, we have started this YouTube channel. There are free of cost learning tutorial on if you want to learn Microsoft Excel, Microsoft Access, PowerPoint, MS Word, other learning tips. So we have detailed playlist and there are hundreds of tutorials on Microsoft Excel, uh, Microsoft PowerPoint, how to design presentation, Microsoft Access, how to do an up databases and manage data, online data collection, learning Google Form, Kobo, MS Forms, you visit this channel you can find lots of video tutorial kindly support us visit the channel for example in ms excel you will find these sessions in a proper sequence for example in ms excel playlist we have this basic session and then session two three four so if you start learning these sessions so from the start you can go ahead and you will find in a sequence sessions on microsoft basics data analysis conditional format pivot tables use of if uh, concatenate formulas dependent drop down list validation name managers v lookup x lookup function f function uh, advanced use of count f in some ifs how to find duplicates tricks and tips related to microsoft excel how to develop search boxes searchable drop down list aggregate functions tracking performance of the projects or any other uh, analysis of research that you have conducted for example school going and other such studies there are session on uh, how to develop beautiful charts, attractive charts, speedometers, uh, dashboards in Microsoft Excel. Similarly, in PowerPoint also you will find how to design beautiful presentation in PowerPoint, how to do in MS Access also you will find all these sessions in prop sequence. Uh, the Access Tutorials playlist, there are almost eight sessions. Uh, in session one you will find the basics how to create tables, queries, forms and then you will go on with advanced options in Microsoft Access. Similarly, you will find tutorial on how to uh, collect online data, Google Form, uh, Kobo, uh, MS Form. Uh, you will find also the use of MS Word, the mail merge functions. There are session on SPSS also. So you can learn SPSS if you need to do some analysis in SPSS. There is a series on project management also, how to conduct need assessment studies. Kindly support us, visit the channel watch learn and improve your productivity thank you so much